A month-long campaign to clear animal shelters across the country starts today, an effort that exceeded one million adoptions last year. Wood TV8 is partnering with West Michigan organizations that are working to meet a great need. News 8's Alicia Alonzo spoke with Love and Pups about its effort in matchmaking, placing dogs in safe housing, and keeping them out of shelters. Today's Wags for Wellness event is helping potential pet owners understand what it takes to care for a puppy. Partnering with organizations like Love and Pups who are working to clear the shelters all across West Michigan, helping find hundreds of dogs their forever homes. This is socialization and this is awareness. Adoptable puppies were capturing the hearts of many at East Town Veterinary Clinic, <laughs> showcasing proper care for adoptive and foster pets at the Wags and Wellness event. Love and Pups is phenomenal. They take these dogs out of situations and they really help to nourish them and get them to a place where they can flourish and they're ready to go to their home. Running a shelterless animal rescue is no easy task. Love and Pups' Carrie Chapela spends most of her days playing matchmaker, finding foster homes homes to help relieve overcrowded shelters. We have way less of a return rate than a shelter does. And it's just because we have the ability to take the time that they don't. And that's all right, but that's where we come in. We can help them by we take some, we get them situated. A costly and time consuming mission. Chapela says the organization's fosters and adoptions have been on a downward slope a need that can only be met with the help of community. We need donations, we need foster homes. In order for us to help the shelters clear the shelters, we have to have somewhere for them to go and a way to feed them and make sure that all of their vetting gets complete. If you're interested in adopting or fostering through Love and Pups, we have all the details you'll need online at woodtv.com in the community section. Just click on clear the shelters. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Alicia Alonso, News 8.